ability to prove who you are is essential to accessing life-enhancing services and participating fully in society. Yet globally, we have over 1.1 billion people who have no proof of official identification. This ID gap creates challenges not only for individuals, but for governments and for the private sector, as well as the development community. For example, opening a bank account, registering a mobile phone, voting, accessing healthcare or education services may all be made more challenging or impossible if you don't have any proof of identity. In fact, 20% of adults have said that one of the primary reasons that they aren't able to register for a bank account and are thus financially excluded is because they don't have any formal proof of identification. At the GSMA, we believe that mobile technology and mobile operators can play a significant role in helping to address this identification gap. Our digital identity program within Mobile for Development works with mobile operators, the development community, and governments to try and identify the opportunities, address the challenges, and create an ecosystem where innovative and life-enhancing solutions can be delivered to people who need it most. Pakistan, only a third of births are officially registered. A complex tangle of paperwork and other factors make this a complex process for individuals and for government. We have developed a mobile-based system which has digitized the data collection and reporting process. This project is uh, an ideal example of public, private uh, and social partnership. So on one hand, we have partnered with UNICEF and on the other hand, we have partnered with the provincial and district governments. We started off with a small scale pilot in order to test the solution and then scale it up. In those uh, pilot areas, we witnessed an increase of more than 200% in the birth registration rates. The lack of official identification disproportionately affects the most vulnerable members of society. Women and children, the poor, people living in rural areas. The ID gap is more predominant across Sub-Saharan Africa and parts of Asia. You and I take it for granted that we have an ability to prove who we are. And this is important for everyday transactions, whether it's to open up a bank account, um, register a SIM or get a mobile phone, being able to register your child at school. Due to the protracted and precarious nature of their situation, refugees may face a more acute challenge in obtaining or accessing identification documents. They may have fled their homes without their IDs or face barriers in accessing new ones in the places where they arrive. In Dadaab Refugee Camp, a unique mobile-based solution is being piloted, which links refugees' profiles with their SIM card and humanitarian cash transfers, enabling them to make choices about food and other assistance that they receive. We're really excited about the promise that digital identity and mobile technology hold for the 1.1 billion people who currently don't have any official identification. This will require new models of partnership and shared value between the private and public sector, which we're excited to see unfold in the years ahead. At the GSMA, we believe that digital identity can be the cornerstone to a digital economy and a digital society, creating a more inclusive and sustainable world for everyone.